with the release of the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple gave its users the ability within the camera to film video in Apple ProRes Lock. Here in this video, I'll show you how to make sure you're set up to film in ProRes Log and a brief tutorial on how to go ahead and color grade your raw log footage. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Krinas, a digital learning coach, and I've been an Apple user and a content creator for a little while now. And so when Apple released this ability to iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max users to film in ProRes Log, I was pretty excited about it, and I've learned how to use it and recently got a chance on a trip to New York City with my family to actually use it and put it into action. Here, I want to show you how to make sure you have your settings correct in order to actually use ProRes Log and a brief demonstration on how to color grade. And in here, in this video, I'm going to use DaVinci Resolve to show you how to do it. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to make sure that you have the correct settings to be able to use ProRes Log. All right, so I'm in my phone's home screen and I go to settings, scroll down until you see the camera settings. From here, you want to go to formats. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you do see a Pro Raw and resolution control and you can toggle that on and off, but that's really just for photos. So what you want to do is scroll down the rest of the way to where you see Apple ProRes. Make sure that that's toggled on. And when you can click on formats, select log as your ProRes encoding. Once you get out of the settings and you open up your camera app, Make sure that you're clicked on video and not photo. And I don't know exactly why when I did this, uh, everything looks sideways, but what you see on the screen is pretty accurate. So what I wanna do first is just demonstrate something. So I clicked in the upper right hand corner off of 4K and onto HD. I also selected to opt to use ProRes Log, and you can see that when I switch now back to 4K, it tells me ProRes is not supported. The reason for that is because in order to film in ProRes Log in 4K 30 or 60 frames, you need to actually install or hook up an external storage device like an external SSD, and I'll link in the description below which one I've been using. So now you'll notice that it says USB-C when I've connected my external storage device. And so in order to make sure that I'm using ProRes Log with 4K video, I needed to hook up my external SSD. Now it allows me actually to flip the screen around as well. And you can see because everything looks faded out and grayed out that I've now successfully started using ProRes Log. In order to find the footage, I've gone into Settings and Files app. I found my X9 Pro external SSD, selected the folder called 100 Apple because that's where the video files are saved when I'm using my external SSD. It, it takes a minute for them to pop up just because they're such large files. But here is where I've been able to save all of the video files from the ProRes log footage that I filmed on my phone, like I said, while my family was taking a trip into New York City recently. Now, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve, and I'll show you how to do some basic color grading. Here I am on my Mac Mini, and I want to make sure that I have some LUTs downloaded. DaVinci Resolve has some already, but here I have a couple of folders with some LUTs that I've saved. The first one is Apple Log LUTs. And again, I'll link in the description below where to find these. This is a free one from Apple. Here in this folder, are a number of LUTs that I've actually gone ahead and paid for. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description as well to 
where to go to purchase these LUTs, but there are many of them to choose from. I'll demonstrate them in DaVinci Resolve. And I want to say I paid either 35, I think it was $35 for that entire LUT pack. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve and uh, I'm going to go to the edit page. And from the edit page, I'm going to uh, go to file and project settings just to make sure I have the right settings here. In color management, I'm gonna open the LUT folder. In order to make sure that I have successfully imported these LUTs into DaVinci Resolve for the first time I'm using them, I wanna drop them into that LUT folder. Let me get out for a second. I just wanna make sure that I'm doing this right. So there are a couple ways to do it. Um, you can either copy and paste the, uh, the, LUTs, the LUT files into that LUT folder, or you can just transfer them. So I'm just gonna minimize DaVinci Resolve real quick and go back to the project settings, open up that LUT folder again, and uh, I'm just gonna drag them in rather than copying and pasting. Just take that whole folder and just drag it right on over like that into the LUT folder in DaVinci. Here, I just need to open this up to grab the correct folder and I've dragged those in as well. So those are in. All right, I'm just gonna, just gonna sort them by name so that they're uh, listed alphabetically in DaVinci Resolve, but I've now moved the LUT files, both the free ones from Apple and the ones I paid for into the LUT folder in DaVinci Resolve. So that way, when I am color grading in DaVinci Resolve, I can find those LUTs easily. Go ahead and maximize this window again so I can really show you a good demonstration. All right, so I'm gonna right click and import some media. Uh, and I'll bring in, so here's the uh, X9 Pro, the Crucial X9 Pro external SSD that I'm using. I found that 100 Apple folder again. That's where all the video files go. And just like it did on my phone, it takes a minute for these files to show up just because uh, they're such large files and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of storage I have a one terabyte external SSD and all of these video files, I think there are 86 of them uh, right now are taking up over 300 gigabytes of storage on the SSD. So I found them, I'm going to bring them in, uh, select to not change the uh, frame rate on the timeline. I just brought in one video file and I'm gonna drag it onto the timeline. This happens to be the first video that I took with my phone using Apple ProRes Log that day, uh, but it's a pretty cool scene of uh, New York City Street. Uh, this is 34th Street in New York City. I muted the audio just so that uh, it doesn't really come through here, but that's how the video looks. Let me go ahead and stop it. And I'll bring the cursor all the way back to the beginning of the timeline. What I'm gonna do is jump into the color page in DaVinci Resolve, and I am going to make sure that I can see my effects. And I'm going to right click, actually I'm not gonna right click here because if I go to add note, I don't see the one I'm looking for. I'm gonna go ahead instead and make sure that I right click on the first node and I'm gonna go ahead and add a serial node next to it. From here, I can either search or just scroll down a little bit to the color space transform effect, drag that onto the serial node. And what I've done sometimes too is make sure to uh, put for the input gamma, set it to uh, Apple log Actually, for right now, I'm going to leave that alone, um, and I'll show you 
show you how to do it in a bit of a different way. Let me click on LUTs, and here is where we should see those LUTs that we imported, both the free version from Apple as well as the paid. And I want to show you what happens if this happens uh, when you first go in. You'll notice that I don't see that. Remember, they should be in alphabetical order. I don't see the Apple folder, nor do I see the other folder with the paid LUTs because it starts with LC, and as I scroll down, I'm just not seeing them. So there is a way to right click and then refresh the LUT folders. And now, see I have the Apple Log LUTs right there. I open them and as you hover over, you can actually see what they'll look like when applied to the video. This first one is uh, not really the idea here. So this is the Apple Log to Rec 709 LUT. And as I drag it over to that node, now it fills in that color and when I play the video, here's what it looks like with the LUT applied. Looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and stop that. So that's how that one looks with the Apple Log LUT. I'm going to take that away and go to the folder with all of the paid versions. So here are the many that I paid for and uh, I'm just going to scroll through and give a look to see which one I think looks best. These first few are still very dull, very gray. Uh, it doesn't do a lot to really emphasize the colors in the video. Yeah, I'm not seeing them yet. But as I jump down to the ones that, uh, even in the thumbnail of the LUT, you know, seem to be brighter and more colorful, that's going to give me more of the desired effect I'm looking for. That one's pretty good. It looks like a base natural. This one is an iPhone look. So that one looks pretty good as well. This one's still a little bit gray for me, not as colorful as I'm looking for. That one's a cinematic look, but a little too warm for my liking. That one's better. So again, all of these LUTs are really giving you just a different look and feel to your video uh, to make it look more cinematic, more true to life. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and go back to some of these up here. And let me drag that one over. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and jump back to my edit page and uh, play that from the beginning. That looks really good. So obviously, uh, we add some color. It's not as grayed out and dull looking as it would be when we've just shot in ProRes Log. And now, just with a few clicks, really, in a few minutes, we've added color and made it look more cinematic, more true to life, and uh, really great in terms of those colors. And uh, you know, you could do a lot of color grading and, and fine tuning from here. But for now, I'm going to leave it like this looks pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up, use, and color grade Apple Pro Res Log footage. Again, just a reminder, the feature is only available on iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max models, and in order to make sure that you're getting the best possible ProRes log footage, you're going to want to film in 4K. And in order to make sure that you have enough room to be able to do that, you will need to record to an external device. As a reminder, there is a link in the description in this video to the external SSD that I've chosen to purchase and use, as well as a USB-C cable that is capable of transferring data really quickly with that external SSD and the MacBook and Mac Mini that I use to actually edit these videos. I know that there's a lot more you can do when it comes to actually editing and color grading Apple ProRes Log footage. So 
I just wanna remind you that this video was a little bit more of a basic or beginner tutorial, uh, but please leave comments in the video whether it's uh, you know of other ways that you're using to color grade or if you haven't used ProRes Log yet and you're getting started on, on using it and color grading it, let me also know that in the comments below. How are you using it and what will be your, uh, your, your system, uh, your editing program of choice and your workflow for being able to color grade? That's it. I appreciate you tuning in. Please go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed the content in this video, as well as the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any more of the great content from my channel. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.